Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do that classy see-through text in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and we're going to first start by bringing here a new fusion composition in the timeline and now we're going to move over to the fusion page. I'm going to start by bringing here in my working area a background and then I'm going to bring text i'm going to link the output of that text to the background which is going to create a new merge and i'm going to link the output of that merge to the media out then i'm just going to bring down the alpha channel of the background so we have transparency and then here in text i'm going to write da vinci i'm going to change the font for montserrat i'm going to switch to black and then I'm just going to raise the overall size. Now we're going to go over to shading and we're going to just start by creating here a gradient. So I'm going to switch from solid to gradient. Here I'm going to change my first gradient point. I'm going to do something like white, not the exact uh, clear white that we have on the other one, but just a tiny bit more towards the gray. It doesn't seem like much, but here, if I move around the mapping angle, as you can see, it affects a little bit and gives some sort of reflection effect to the text. So now I'm going to make the mapping angle 90 degree. And for now, we're going to bring the opacity at 0.5. Now I'm going to go to my shading element and select the element 2, which is red outline. But right now, that's going to be a white outline. I'm going to just enable it. And here, we're going to make the switch from red to white. And I'm going to reduce the thickness by 0, 0.05. So here, basically, with the first element, we've created the main text, uh, which is transparent. And now we're just making the edges with the outline. To make it look a bit more glassy, what we're going to do is we're going to use the same trick as we've done on the first one. We're going to just go and select gradient. But as you can see now, the fact that we have gradient going on, it just creates more of a reflection aspect on the edges. And here, instead of black, we're just going to go for something more towards the gray, like that, so the shadow is not that prominent. So around there, I think it's fine. And that's why we'll create a glassy see-through text. Now we're just going to make a quick animation on it using a blur. So I'm going to select my text one, hit shift space, look for blur here in my select tool window. And we're just going to bring a blur node between the text and the merge too. And I'm going to go to frame 25. Here I'm going to drop a keyframe on the blur size, go to frame zero, and we're going to bring the blur size all the way up. Now let's play it. All right, that's going to be our first animation. Now I'm just going to do an opacity animation because as you can see at frame zero, we still have some sort of fog because it's all diffuse. So we're just going to want to make it uh, completely disappear at frame zero and bring it uh, slowly towards uh, frame 15. So I'm just going to select my two node, bring them up. Here, select my blur one. It shifts space on my keyboard again. And here we're going to search for the brightness node. I'm going to bring that in. And here I'm just going to select the alpha channel, go to frame 10, drop a keyframe on the gain, then go to frame zero, and then we're just going to bring the gain down to zero. Now, as you can see, the diffusion of the text has disappeared from zero, and it's just going to gradually come into frame right there. And the last keyframe I want to add is here on the text. I'm just going to do some keyframing on the tracking. So I'm going to go to frame 25. Here I'm going to go down to text tracking and I'm going to leave a keyframe on the tracking. Then I'm just going to go down to frame zero and we're just going to switch the tracking for 1.1. Now I'm going to smooth out some animation. So I'm just going to go over to the spline here. I'm going to select the text with uh, basically the animation we put on the tracking and the blur. I don't need to make some adjustments here to the opacity. It can stay linear. I'm going to click zoom to fit right here, select all my keyframe point. It S on my keyboard, then it deleted T which is going to bring the ease in and ease out and switch the ease in to 85. And here you go. That's the final text. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.